Shark Boy was not always half shark, half boy. He was a marine biologist, or at least in training. His father studied great white sharks and called his son Shark Boy because of how much he loved to care for the sharks. He made them sushi and had given them all names. Good Milk, Piggy, Egg Battle, and Kraken. But one day, an incredible, mysterious storm appeared. It swept away the entire laboratory. Thanks to the life rafts, Shark Boy and his father survived. But they survived on different sides of the wreckage, each floating off in a different direction. Shark Boy was completely alone. Almost completely. But one of the sharks recognized him. Hey, it's Shark Boy. Don't take a bite out of him, boys. He's a friend. They took Shark Boy to their cave home, where he'd be safe and dry. His new family were sharks. Hundreds of sharks. The sharks raised him as one of their own, training him in the ways of the shark. You must keep moving to survive. Always go forward, never back. To live by instinct, and instinct alone. Eventually, he grew gills and sharp talons for claws. His teeth sharpened themselves to a point. He grew fins, all sorts of fins. But that was years ago. I first met Shark Boy while fishing on a dock this summer. He seemed lost. You have to get a job. Get no, a real no, I have job. Job. So I snuck him home. When my parents were too busy to notice. I kept him fed and in water. He had been traveling the universe in search of his father. He told me of his latest adventures on a planet so cool it makes you drool. He said I too could go to Planet Drool someday. Then one night, I was visited by a glowing light. An amazing girl with purple flames for hair and skin of molten lava rock appeared. I called her Lava Girl. She smiled at me, for that seemed to be her name. She told me she needed Shark Boy to return to Planet Drool with her for a great crisis was developing. She asked if I could go with them. I told her, I have school tomorrow. She gave me a sad look and flamed away, taking Shark Boy with her. I haven't seen Shark Boy or Lava Girl since then. And that's what I did this summer. Had your cookies and milk. Now go to sleep. I'll try. Go to sleep. Not like that. Sing them a lullaby. Dream, 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 dream. Oh. Your turn. Close your eyes, shut your mouth, dream a dream and get us out. Dream, 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 dream. Hit the hay, fast asleep. Dream a dreamy little bleep. Dream, 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 dream. It's working. Keep it up, Shark Boy. Just relax, lay about, or my fist will put you out. Dream, 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 dream. Take your time, help you well. Darkness in the air. Dream, 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 dream. Dream about me next, Max. I need to know who I am. Not just destruction or a simple flame. Dream of me as something good.
Sorry, Max. Ah! Ow! Oh! What was that for? Your nightmare was about me, wasn't it? I don't remember. But I did dream about one thing. He ruined my dream journal! I did not! Mr. Electric, send him to the principal's office and have him expelled! You're in my class, not the other way around. I know everything, and you know nothing. At the end of class, both of you will report to the principal's office. With your parents! our solar system. You should know, Max. You made it up. I can't go with you. Why not? Because you're not real. Both of you are just a dream. And when I open my eyes, you'll be gone. We're still here, Max. <laughs> If you want to stop the darkness from destroying our worlds, come with us. You better go with them. Okay. I'll go. Everyone follow me. I'm gonna go find shelter. I can't believe I'm finally getting to ditch this place and go to Planet Drool. How are we getting there? Sure, this will save her. It'll do more than save her. I know who you are, Lava Girl. You are not fire or a simple flame. You are greater than that. Something more important and so necessary. It is why you must live. You're not destruction. You're not evil. Stand back.